What is up, R6 gamers? I'm a professional R6 yapper, and today I'm gonna be teaching you about one of the most important spots on all of Oregon, and maybe even in the entire game, that you can take advantage of to win more rounds on your attacks, because let's face it, attack is harder than defense, and if you can win those attacks easier by making these big plays and using these powerful positions, you're gonna be in a better spot and you're gonna be able to win you're gonna be able to rank up and life's gonna be great life's gonna be fantastic today we're here on athenos house i mean oregon um where we're gonna be talking about the big window this is literally what this entire video is going to revolve around because this window is so underutilized but it's also one it's just it's literally so strong it's literally so strong so we're going to explain why that is and how we can use it to our advantage so let's open this puppy up and first let's take a look at the site setup there's a lot there's only a couple things here that actually change how you push big window now what can the defenders do with their setup they can make footholds here they can maybe make a rotate here most people have a rotate here if they have no rotate even better or even just like head holes now the last thing they could have is like a frost mat on the ground some traps around the window maybe some vertical holes that they're playing but we'll talk about all this how you can break all this down and use this big window to get into sight get some kills create tons of pressure and just have such a massive advantage on your opponents this works whether if you're solo queue you can do this by yourself if you're not solo queue you can have your team push the other side and just have one guy here adding all this pressure for just for so little so essentially what you're going to want to do, know is what's the site setup like now you can do this with basically any operator who has flashbangs grenades you can use Ying with her Candelas, Zofia stuns. You could even use Zero with his Zero cams for distractions. Anyone who has some sort of thing that they can throw at the defenders. Grim, Gridlock, also very, very strong here. We'll talk about more of the operators you can use when we actually go to an operator pick phase so I can just kind of scan over them all. But right now, let's start with Buck. So what you're going to want to do is when you're at Big Window, first you have to see what the site setup's like. So you're going to use a drone. Even if this is a Rooney gated, you don't have to drive your drone through. You can see, okay, they have footholes, they have a rotate white. Is there anyone playing big window? This is the only question you need the answer for. Is there a guy playing in this area? If there's not, you're ready to go. The time is the time is now. Let's let's get active. The other thing you need to know, I guess, is technically is there a frost mat and what's on this window? Good way to check for a frost mat if you don't have your drone, they shoot your drone or whatever. Upside down repel. This is another um, this is another good way to enter in if they are playing these vert holes. These vert holes are very rare. Uh, you probably won't encounter them too much, but if let's say they are playing these the vert holes you can repel through the window so you can actually get up on the repel and repel in and that will lower the time they actually see you and you're going to get a much bigger distance than kind of freezing on top of the window frame perfect for them to shoot you so repelling in this window is something that you should keep in mind if you have these vert holes now if you don't you probably don't need to repel you can because it's really confusing hearing a repel noise because nobody repels through this window nobody's going to expect you to repel through this window so it also is a good distraction however you're not just going to go and raw dog in it like a maniac okay firstly you have to be careful the gen rotate top white the swing out of here and the kids holes now if there is guy kids smokes work great for this you can smoke this off you know you just bounce a smoke grenade it smokes the holes and now you they can only peek from here so now that this is smoked you can hop in and fight this guy top white cross here maybe come back and then you can get to big window now this this is a little sketchy because they can shoot you from multiple angles you know you have gen and this to worry about but you're you're relatively safe especially if your team's already opened this wall now remember you can wait you can wait to actually make this play until your team has added a lot of pressure as well you can open this window and chill out here with your information wait for some nice things but if you see that basically all of kids is clear and all this is clear then yeah just take it because if nobody's in here and nobody's in here you can literally only get shot from one direction and at this point you have lots of cover they're in the middle of the open and you can use this cover to your advantage now you might get z4 uh that's a rare case but if you get c4 you get c4 you know it's kind of it's kind of part of it if you really want to be extra safe you can use your second drone off spawn to put it bottom white and check down there uh whenever you want so basically the way you're going to do this is wherever they're playing you're going to flashbang that area or wherever they're not playing that you don't know of so Let's say no big window is clear, but I'm not sure about kids. There might be a guy in kids. There might be a guy top white. What am I going to do? Throw a flashbang here. Throw a flashbang here. Hop in off the second flashbang. They're blind, and now I have this control. Boom. I've used my utility. I pushed off my utility. They can't peek while those flashbangs are going off. The only spot they could really peek while that was happening is maybe this gen rotate, but they have to have perfect timing and get the perfect angle. So if I do that, I can also maybe buck into kids off the flashbang. Now I have kids control. I can fight the rotate. So if you see that both are clear, you could even do that play with Buck, where you buck through this wall, you open up the rotate the rest of the way, and you take into kids after you flashbang top white a couple times, knowing this is clear, 
and then you can hold this rotate hole and you're in kids. You're just trying to stay alive at this point and wait for them to actually rotate out of position. Cause at this point, if I'm flashing top white and hopping into kids, I'm gonna like, they don't know. They don't know I'm in kids, dude. They, they're not gonna know. You know, all they know is that they got flashbang. There might be a guy big window. They don't know I made a new rotate hole and shot in here like a freaking maniac, okay? So that's a nice play. That works. This big window, so, so strong. Um, too many times you just see people going attic and master and fighting. The whole fucking round happens right here with people peeking this balcony and playing over here and contesting it super heavily. Big window is so underutilized and so strong. Another thing you can do is before you go to big window, because that play is so easy to make and so quick to do it, um, you can actually hit some of these repels first. So what you can do is come out of construction spawn. You see that if there's no glass on the window, this is a great time to come up. They won't hear the repel because the glass hides the, the sound of it. And then you can just spray through here. You might kill a guy top white. You might kill a guy kids. And then you can either go to the roof um, or go to like go to big window in that case, go to the ground and run around. Or you can go to the roof and go do it on, the same thing on the generator window. So there's a lot of options uh, when it comes to what you want to do beforehand just to get a couple quick picks even so there's a lot of pressure you can apply from those windows and there's of course big window there's a lot of pressure you can apply from there so let's take a look at the actual operators we want to use for this i'm gonna pick every single operator if you're this operator and you're on oregon you can always go big window okay it's always an option you can go trophy off the start open the main wall whatever help your team there and then go big window after the other thing that's nice is having claymores for like the small tower hop out or the big window jump out for when you're droning um easiest way around that is just setting up your prep phase cam in the small tower that way you can see if someone goes up there and and if somebody dies it can watch it hopefully and there's a lot of like just like it's a little safety net for you essentially okay let's pause the timer here let's talk about who's actually good for this so who can we do this play with sledge with nades or flashbangs either one we can use i'm gonna let's actually talk about the top ones i would say the top ones i would do this with ying grim gridlock Ying and Grim are going to be one and two because with Grim, you can put all the bees around the bunk bed and all the bees, you can shoot a bee into kids. You can bounce off the floor. Ying, you can smoke off the kids, rotate. Ying kids, Ying top white. You can basically blind everything as you take that control, which is really nice. Uh, this even works with a second person planting. I'll show you the best plant spot if you do have a second person planting. If you have a duo, bringing a Ying to flash and blind everyone, having the other person plant, very, very strong strategy. You can also do it with a Dokubi with our flashbangs. You can do zero. It's, 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 it's like kind of meh. You could do a Flores drone. You could drive a Flores drone, explode it, throw a flashbang, jump in off that. A lot of, a lot of chaos there. Uh, maybe I'll actually show you that Flores example, and then I'll also show you that the plant spot for it. Uh, you could do it with Ram. Anyone with flashbangs. Literally, you could do this with anyone with flashbangs. Maverick, Habana. So pretty much any operator, as long as you have some secondary utility that actually allows you to do this, um, you're able to do it. I like the Grim the best as well as the ying kind of they're kind of on par depending on what i see in the lineup because grim has a claymore so you can actually claymore off your hop out as well and then be everything and then push in off the bees if they are actively in the bees try to get the kills like try to get the kills you have wall hacks on them if they're in the bees so it's like very very easy to get the kills you can pre-fire them uh let's show you the flores though so yeah that's pretty much what i would do you can even use like iq with the nades the nice thing about the ying is even if they have a jaeger ads or uh, well, my this same with the grim you have six throwable gadgets You have two smoke grenades and four candela so you can burn them You can just throw a candela into there or throw a smoke into the ADS to burn it and then throw all the rest right after So that doesn't reset same thing with the grim you have five B's you can just freaking blast them all in there good to go Let's show off the flores um, I don't play a lot of flores But if you're in the situation where your flores you need to make a play You need to bring the numbers back or you just you're bunched up with your team and you want to spread out and add some more pressure This is a fantastic way to do this. I almost go big window I go big window almost every single time I attack Oregon top floor and my or Oregon win rate is pretty good I think so it's it's just definitely worth doing so with the flores how would we do this? Let's say we have the footholds here. I'm gonna shoot a moment. Let's say they actually did a site setup, or even if it's a rotate, either or. So with Flores, what I can do is I can firstly Flores the guy out of back bunk bed if he's playing there. But I can drop this here, then flashbang this, then hop in off the explosion, little cover from the sound, and now I'm in big window, right? So you want to do it all at the same time, very effectively. Now the other thing you could do is, if I can do this right. You can get off your Flores drone as you're actually rocking it. So you hop on this, you hop off the Flores drone. Now you do the flashes. Now your Flores drone just keeps rolling. Uh, if you blind yourself, it's fine. As long as you know big one is clear. And then the Flores drone will go off afterwards. So that'll actually cover your rotate afterwards 
because you got off it, it will keep going, then it will eventually detonate. So that's pretty nice. So if you have that ying and you have a teammate covering, where is the best spot to plant? Well, we all know that default plant behind the bed. Is this the best spot though? Ask yourself, is this the best spot? Is this, the, is this where I should be planting the bomb? Well, oh, it's got a lot of cover. It's got a lot of cover. No, it's not the best spot. You know why? This is where everybody's going to see for. There's a guy kid's door. Where's he see for? He's see for he's see for in the bed. If there's a guy underneath, where's he see for? He's see for in the bed. If there's a guy on the rotate, where's he see for? Over the fucking bed. Over in right right to where you're planning. Everybody's throwing their C4s right here or smoke grenades or whatever. That's an easy spot to see for. However, when you're yinging this, when you're having all this chaos, when you have this chaos operator of ying or gridlock or someone who makes a lot of noise, a ram even, who's, who's doing all this and, and having the flashbangs and they, they can't hear where the plant's going down, the best spot to plant is actually right here. You know why? Because this be is not only the safest spot because they're not going to see for it. However, if they want to shoot you, they have to come all the way around the corner, especially if this wall's reinforced. If you see this wall's reinforced, just go fucking plant the bomb as soon as you can. Like, throw a flashbang here and just go plant. Um, they could technically shotgun you through the wall, C4 you through the wall, impact you through the wall, but that's only if they know that you're planting there uh, or they have a Solus underneath. I mean, Solus underneath counters this, obviously. That's that's another thing. So if they don't have a Solus, you're pretty much safe to do it. Uh, even if they have a Valcam up, you could throw have your Ying throw a smoke here, have the, her throw the second one where you're actually planting, and then just keep throwing Candelas down this lane. They try to come in, they're just blind. They're just blind over and over again. They're not going to hear where you're planting if you have the Candelas going off. So you can get this plant down, but the best second best part about it is playing the post plant on this. You can play from the upside down repel. You can just hold this window for if they push close. Now the upside down repel is actually kind of kind of shitty here. I actually wouldn't recommend that. What can we do instead? I don't know if this is only if you can if you plant on the window, you can cover the bomb from up here. So this is also not a good post plant. Just keep that in mind. Um, but what you can do is you can, honestly, I would just hold this aggressively. You can quick peek off of this. Don't try not to let them get to big window because if they get to big window, what they can do is they can peek close on you like this, like with a shotgun or whatever, and then you're probably gonna die. So that's rough. In this case, I would just be hopping on my floor as drones. I would be doing this, riding this baby out, just wait till I see someone trying to get near it, and then just hop it right on the diffuser. Now they have to get out the diffuse, right? And then I can re-peak, whatever. I can do it again if I want. You know, it depends how many floors drones you have left at this point. So there's always, always take a look at your operator building, your operator utility, and see what you can use in that post plant. I have a drone. Oh, okay, I can throw a drone in. I can see when they're actually diffusing and see where they go. It also depends on the numbers, you know? If they have two people alive if they have five people alive if they have one person alive if they have one person alive you can play this very very passively and wait for him to fuse right i can wait for him to hop out the second he hops out the window i'm gonna have an advantage in that gunfight i'm gonna kill him the second he vaults out when i hear the tick i can shoot some bullets at him try to bait him off i can sprint make sure he hit ticks it three times until i actually peek because if he doesn't he's gotten off the diffuser so if i say i don't hear the third one i'm just gonna keep sitting here once I hear the third one, quickly, get in there, kill him, right? Quickly, 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 because then you only have about, what, one and a half seconds at that point to actually get the kill, but you're close enough that you can get there in one and a half seconds and kill that guy, so if you hear the first couple takes, maybe you want to bait him off, maybe you want to just shoot a little bit to pull him off. The only thing I would say is don't throw flashbangs when they're diffusing, because that stops you from hearing if they're actually diffusing still because the flashbangs are loud. Uh, if you hear, if someone starts flashbanging you while you're diffusing, just stick the diffuse. They won't hear the, the final ticks and they won't know that you're still diffusing. So in that case, it might be a little easier. So yeah, I hope that helped. Um, absolutely utilize big window. I, I think this is one of the strongest attacker pushes, the solo attacker pushes in the game. Um, and it's there's a reason why I go here pretty much every time as a champion professional yapper gamer myself. So I hope you, hope you enjoyed this style of video. Let me know what you thought about the, this kind of thing. And uh, thanks for watching, boys. Peace out.